Hello, in this video I will show you how to use Activator and uh, what all these properties means uh, and how they work. So if you already saw or maybe you don't saw already how it works in other tutorials, I will just quickly show you. So here my uh, setup, as you can see there is the AMT root with a bunch of fragments and uh, I have the here mesh root object type, so it means this rigid component will be copied to every fragment here. And uh, as you can see, uh, simulation type is set to inactive. So this means that I will activate them using activator. And if you want to use activator, you have to turn on here this checkbox activation by activator. Now it will be possible to activate the, these fragments. And activation means that uh, when you start simulation, all these fragments, they kind of uh, freeze in the air. They are part of simulation. I can move them you can see they start pushing other fragments but they don't fall down uh, because they are inactive and i can activate them using this method or any other way and after that they become full dynamic objects and this is how you can use activator they simply allows to use other gizmo to activate whatever they pass uh, if there's a, if object is inactive it will be activated and um, first property here you can see gizmo type there are three types, sphere, box, and collider. In this case, I'm using sphere, and as you can see, it creates a sphere collider. It's set to trigger, so it means it won't push anything, but whenever it will touch any inactive object, it will start, they will start fall down because they will turn to full dynamic object. You can select here, and you can see it says here simulation type dynamic now. So in this way, you can kind of uh, trigger activation of inactive objects. In this case, you can see I'm using box collider, box uh, gizmo type, and uh, here's uh, uh, sphere radius, which you can adjust for sphere gizmo. But you have to do this at the beginning when collider will be created. And in this case, I'm using box, and again, it will do the same whenever it touches uh, inactive object, it activate them. And the last one is collider collider type allows you to apply your own collider in this case i'm using mesh collider with some cube mesh and uh, if you set here to collider it will just use your own collider it won't create this uh, simple box or sphere but it works in the same way it touches it doesn't touch right now but it works in the same way whenever it uh, collides with inactive object it activates them pretty straightforward property so that was a gizmo group of options in the next video i will show you all this activation group of properties okay thank you for watching